This video is intended to show the user how to use the raised median civil cell delivered with the Select Series 3 products. To use the cell, we first need to draw in 2D, in our 2D view, what we call a control line. The control line can be any graphic, and I'm going to change the feature definition here and give it a name, control. And basically we'll set the offset to let's say two feet just and we'll turn on the constructions okay so we'll we'll draw out our control line and in this case we're creating a median where we'll have a turn lane going down onto our exit ramp or on ramp rather and we'll say no to mirroring it now the reality is this line in theory could be a complex element two-dimensional that zigzagged across our center line. It really would make no difference. Next we'll go to place the cell. So you'll notice the median cell library delivered with the product has two civil cells, one a crossover and one a plain or simple or basic median. Um, in this case, uh, my cell library contains the basic median and also two others, a medium with the turn lane and a dual end. So we'll place the median with the turn lane. But either any of the three raised medians work the exact same way. We're looking for a control line. Now a control line is the line that we just placed and the reason we call it a control line is because it controls the length of our median minus the radius of the median nosing. Next we'll select the left edge of pavement or grade break. So we'll go out here and select our left edge of pavement and our right edge of pavement. This allows the median to conform to the grade or the sec cross sectioning of the roadway. And then next we'll select the center line Again, this puts a grade break in the center for our median to drape on. Now in this case, our median uh, draws perfectly along our control line, and I just want to reset to exit out. If our median drew opposite, we would simply switch all of our arrows to go the opposite direction. So in this case, we reset and then accept the placement and our median's been created onto our surface and with that we can then clip out the median. Um, in these cells I've not added the clip function to them at this time but it's a very simple uh, add a clipping reference, uh, select our corridor, select the two-dimensional silhouette or outline, reset and in short order we'll see the median will clip and our components are now clipped out of our civil cell. And of course this is very dynamic, so in this case maybe we need a much greater stacking distance and we can simply come in and key in a new value, maybe we want a 100 foot length. And you'll see that of course updates in our 3D view as well. Additionally, the length of the median can be controlled um, by the control line. So, as you saw, we had stretched that out in the beginning. Um, if we decide we need to shorten the length of the median, we simply grab the end of our control line and move the control line back. And what we'll see in the two dimensional view is our median will shorten and of course that will be reflected in the three-dimensional view as well.